Luna Hertz TikTok is listing on Kickstarter right now. Early bird backers can get up to 35% discount on the launch price. I'm Christian Corley and you're watching Make Use of Reviews. I've spent the past week using and abusing this. This is the Unihertz TikTok. So let's find out if this is a Kickstarter phone that you might support. Over the past few years, Unihertz has released a bunch of ruggedized phones thanks to slightly fanatical support on Kickstarter. Joining the Atom XL walkie talkie and Titan rugged phone with a QWERTY keyboard comes a non rugged device that looks rugged the Unihertz TikTok. It's not aimed at social media nuts, although there's no reason not to do some crazy dance with this phone. Uh, instead, the name reflects this second screen, which sits on the back of the phone and features any one of 16 clock faces. That's right, you no longer have to pick up your phone to check the time. Described as a unique 5G dual screen rugged smartphone, the dual screen in that description refers to a standard 6.5 inch 1080 by 2340 pixel LCD and the smaller 1.3 inch circular LCD on the back with a 360 by 360 pixel resolution. Measuring 176 by 85.6 by 14.9 millimeters and weighing 308 grams, this is not a small or lightweight phone. Its pointed rubberized ends give it the shape of a stretched hexagon and you get the feeling it could do some damage. The lack of Gorilla Glass or any other strengthened glass display suggests it might come off worse, however. Now, this is a 5G phone with support for all of the usual bands. It has Wi-Fi 5, Bluetooth 5.1, NFC and dual SIM support. As SIM standards, only one SIM can be accommodated if you want to extend the 1 to 8 gigabyte storage with a micro SD card. Everything is managed by a Dimensity 700 octa-core CPU, while a non-removable 6000 milliamp hour battery is charged through a USB Type-C port. This is awkwardly positioned on the right side of one of the pointed ends and it seems that some cables can't quite plug in securely. The recharge time is an issue too. This phone doesn't appear to have fast charge which means the device won't fully recharge overnight. Hopefully this is a problem limited to pre-release devices and Unihertz can sort it out before the full release. Photography and videography with this phone is average for the quality of the sensors. The front facing camera lens is placed in the notch, a design choice I've not cared for since it was introduced. But given the shape of the phone, it seems strange that a notch is even required. Surely they could have just moved the camera up five millimeters. The main camera snaps at a maximum of 48 megapixels while the front camera is eight megapixels. A menu option lets you launch the camera by double tapping the power button. This control also has a thumbprint sensor built in for fast unlocks and the phone features all of the usual gyro, proximity and ambient light sensors and a few more besides. Around the phone, you will find five controls. We have the volume controls, then we have the power button with the thumbprint reader. At the other side, we have two buttons. They're both red. One is to activate the flashlight and another one is to switch on the subscreen on the back. There's also an FM radio, a retired smartphone feature that seems to be making a comeback. But our version shipped without a wired headset, which made testing reception a bit difficult. It did ship with a USB Type-C OTG 3.5mm audio adapter, however. Now, it looks rugged, but is the Unihertz TikTok as hardy as it seems? Well, aside from the raised rubberized bezel at each point of the hexagon to avoid screen scratches when placed face down, the phone has IP68 water resistance rating and is apparently sand and dust proof. As you can see, it has quite a rugged exterior, which suggests that it should be okay in a fall. Although sadly, it does not have Gorilla Glass, which means the screen could crack in what I'm about to do. And I am here at the beach, and it is early December, and it is quite cold. So, what I'm going to do is quite simple. I'm going to drop the phone into the sea as the tide comes in. Uh, it's quite pebbly here, so uh, we'll see what happens anyway. Now, the thing is, I could tell you that this is a terrible phone, or I could tell you that this is an awesome phone, but it wouldn't matter. I could have thrown it into the sea a hundred times, but you wouldn't be interested in that, because what you want to know is about the subscreen. That little round 360 by 360 pixel 
measuring 1.3 inches on the back of the phone. And yes, it is a strikingly silly idea. From some angles, it looks as though the Unihertz TikTok is literally wearing a watch. And the shape of the clock's bezel and the choice of faces certainly doesn't dissuade that notion. While the clock is more effective than the other features accessed through the subscreen, I'm uncertain as to whether buying a phone because it has a watch on the back is a smart buy. But then again, it's your money. It'll certainly survive a drop in the sea at high time the next time you walk on a pebbled beach, which is more than can be said for an iPhone. If you've ever been stuck in a meeting and thought to yourself, I need a phone with a screen on the back that displays a clock, then the Unihertz TikTok is for you. The IP68 water resistance is a nice bonus, while the phone itself runs Android 11 effortlessly. There are questions about the hardiness of the display, but overall, this is another imaginative addition to Unihertz's range of quirky handsets. And if you're interested in reviews of consumer tech of all kinds, subscribe to the Make Use of YouTube channel, where you'll find tips, tricks, and even some giveaways.